Now at 10, a life gone in an instant after two cars collide on the 10 freeway. The impact so violent, in fact, that one of the vehicles flipped upside down. Tonight, one person is dead and several young children are among the injured. Diving into the deep, a police pursuit ends with a wild plunge into the Pacific Ocean. The driver taking a cold swim before getting a free ride to jail. Tonight, the chaotic moments leading to this shocking scene. And they came, they saw, and they certainly conquered. A multitude of emotions at the LA Marathon today as runners cross the finish line in a true test of grit and determination. But success stories and a surprise proposal. Now, on the news at 10. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 10. I'm Rick Chambers. And I'm Kareen Winter. We begin tonight with a violent crash that killed one man and seriously injured multiple people on the 10 freeway. Four children, including an infant, are among the injured. Yeah, this crash happened about 3 o'clock this afternoon. This is in the University Park area near the Hoover Street off-ramp. Authorities say two cars collided in the westbound lanes. That caused one of them to land upside down on the freeway. Now, sadly, a man died right there at the scene. Five other people, though, had to be taken to the hospital in serious to critical condition, including four young boys ranging in age from three months to 10 years old. A 29-year-old woman was also seriously injured in that crash. Another adult male was treated and released there at the scene. But officials had to shut down the westbound lanes for several hours. The freeway, though, reopened about 6.30 this evening, but it's still not clear exactly what led to the crash. Family and friends came together tonight to mourn the death of a woman who was killed in a violent crash in North Hollywood this weekend. Flowers, candles, pictures, and words of love and grief adorn the spot where the victim died early Saturday morning. The crash happened at the intersection of Tahunga Boulevard and Sherman Way. Authorities responded to the call and found two cars mangled. They say the victim was driving north on Tahunga when she ran a red light and struck a pickup truck traveling east on Sherman Way. That driver was transported to a hospital in moderate condition. The woman who caused the accident wasn't so lucky. The cause of the collision is under investigation, but police say drugs and alcohol were not factors. And take a look at this. A wild pursuit through L.A. comes to an unusual ending. As a witness captures the moment, the suspect drives her car straight into the Pacific Ocean. The pursuit began late last night in Baldwin Hills. Officers were called to the area after receiving reports of a reckless driver. The suspect led officers through East L.A. towards the west side, eventually getting off the freeway near Venice Beach. And after weaving through parking lots, the vehicle drove right into the water. The driver got out and swam to the end of the pier. A sheriff's boat pulled the suspect aboard and took her into custody. And a viewer sent KTLA footage of the suspect's car being removed from the beach this morning. If you're out painting the town green tonight, DUI checkpoints are up and running all around town to hopefully keep the driver safe. St. Patrick's Day is one of the deadliest drinking holidays of the year. In fact, dozens of people get killed each year in accidents all around the country. LAPD officers, they're saturating Los Angeles with sober driver checkpoints, trying to make sure that party goers are enjoying the holiday responsibly. They'll also be checking for drivers impaired, though, by things like marijuana and prescription medication use. So get a designated driver tonight. And St. Patrick's Day celebrations are in full swing over at the Abbey in West Hollywood. A lot of people opting for a pint or two of Guinness. But the Abbey also had some food there. The bar served up a corned beef and cabbage special for 25 bucks. And what better way to wash that down? Some green beer. Lots well, of the folks out there from me, okay. And the celebrations will continue for another several hours. Okay. But of course, the work week upon us, Kai, but the conditions are going to be just nice. Yeah, they're going to be great. And everybody be safe for the rest of the night as well. And what a day today for the LA Marathon. It was beautiful from Dodger Stadium all the way to Century City, the celebrating on Avenue with the Stars and Sunshine once the elite runners made it there at about uh, 9, 10 o'clock hours. And we saw dry conditions, and of course that continues on this Sunday night from Santa Barbara all the way down to San Diego. Let's go to Orange County. Current temperature in Santa Ana of about 60 degrees. We'll head downtown at 58.